hi everyone and welcome back to another video today we are going to look at a cxc paper two pass paper um, and a section of it from may june 2013 all right so let us begin cracking is a very important process in the petroleum industry explain what is meant by the term cracking well this is the process of applying high temperatures and pressure or catalyst with mild to low temperatures to break down large hydrocarbons to smaller ones. So that's what cracking is all about. Two things. Well, you have two types of cracking. You have thermal cracking and you also have catalytic cracking. And in each instance, they break down larger hydrocarbons to smaller ones. And these smaller ones you know they can meet the modern day demands and so forth for example propane which is a smaller alkane that that's the gas in your in your in your cooking cylinders and so it meet that domestic demand butane is another one that is used in the lighter so cracking is very important after it has um, the, the, the petroleum or the crude oil has gone through the fractional distillation. Part B, Gluclo glucose is a small molecule that contains several hydroxy, group, hydroxy groups and can be polymerized to form starch. Draw a structural representation of glucose. Well, there are several structural representation of glucose you have the fisher projection the haworth projection but those are those are not required at your level what your examiner wants you to draw is this structure to represent glucose the rectangular box right here represents the rest of the molecule all right Question two of that section, use three gluco units of glucose to show how the monomers are linked together in a partial structure of starch. So we need three of these. So we have the OH bonded to the rectangular box which represents the rest of the molecule in glucose. So we now have the third one to show how they are linked based on what the question asks. Now remember that this type of molecule would undergo condensation, polymerization. And condensation really means that a small group is removed from the, from the compound throughout the reaction. And in this case, that small group is a water molecule. So one water molecule is removed between the first two that reacted and so the O one bonded with that square with the rectangular uh, section there that represents the rest of the molecule. Now let us redraw what we have done so far in terms of reaction. This O comes right here and it carries along with the rest of its chain with it. OH then we are going to add another glucose unit to complete the question OH is removed from the first part and H from the second unit and that result into the partial unit of three glucose units partial structure of the three glucose units H. but we cannot leave it like that because it's a polymer we have to remove the hydrogens at both ends and put a bond there to show that it is be it is continuous so the actual structure would look like this
remember the boxes are not drawn to scale so don't think that they are different from the others and so that would be the partial unit for a glucose plus two water molecules since two of them were released throughout the process part three state the type of polymerization reaction that glucose undergoes to form starch and name the family of polymers to which the starch belongs. There are two types of polymerization generally, condensation polymerization and addition polymerization. When we are talking about addition polymerization, we know that it involves unsaturated compounds such as an alkene and an alkyne. So, double bonds and triple carbon to carbon double bonds and carbon to carbon triple bonds they undergo addition anything other than that we can definitely infer that it is condensation polymerization so glucose undergo undergoes condensation polymerization and the family to which it belongs is the polysaccharide Saccharide in Latin means sugar, so you know that it is poly sugar since glucose is a sugar. The next part of the question Proteins are naturally occurring polymers. The partial structure of a protein molecule is shown in figure 3. Here we have it. They want you to describe how the structure of the protein is affected by acid hydrolysis two marks so we can give two pointers the first pointer is that the peptide bond peptide bonds are cleaved therefore therefore the protein is denatured protein is denatured In a protein, this is this is an, an amide right here. And an amide come from the came from the reaction between an, an acid terminal and an amine terminal. If this is the peptide, if this is the amide, then the amide linkage must be between the carbon right here and the nitrogen group that is right here. So this is the amide linkage or it is also called the peptide linkage acid hydrolysis would cleave this bond and then it will uh, form the index so the next part of it is that the individual starting materials are produced the individual starting materials are produced so two things happen during during uh, acid hydrolysis. The peptide bonds are cleaved and the protein is denatured, meaning that you no longer have the protein and so you end up with the individual starting materials. Part two wants you to want you to draw the structure of the monomer unit that results from the acid hydrolysis of the structure. And because they are all the same, they are all the repeating units, you can just pick any one and draw that structure. So we said that the peptide bonds were cleaved and we ended up with the individual unit, the monomers. Here we have the Again, another rectangular box which represents the rest of the molecule bonded to an AB group. And so this would represent the, acid, the, the amino acid for the starting material. This would represent the, the starting material for the protein structure that we have above after it has been hydrolyzed.
Part D, the structure of four monomers. P, Q, R, and S are shown below. Identify two monomers that will undergo condensation polymerization. This one and this one would undergo uh, condensation polymerization. The others would be unsaturated, so they definitely uh, would undergo addition polymerization. So those compounds are P and R. B, one monomer that will undergo addition polymerization. We can pick anyone, Q or S. So let us pick S, which is the vinyl chloride there or chloroethene. And lastly, question two. State the name of the family of polymers that will form when monomers P and R react. So let us look at what P and R are. P is an alcohol, a diol. P is a diol and R is a diacid. But the the chemical properties or the principle remains the same in terms of their reaction. An alcohol reacting with an acid produced an ester. And if an ester is produced, then for one mark, we know that the family of polymers that it belongs to is polyester. Right? And so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned something. Remember to support the channel by liking the video, subscribing, and sharing. Happy studying. Remember, we study smart. See you soon.